Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name, if you don't know who I am, my name is Nandi and I am currently the voice behind Bujos and Tapes. I can't say I'm the face because you can't see me. So I am the voice behind Bujos and Tapes. And today's video is going to be a mini sticker haul. Yeah. I'd, I'd originally wanted to do this video on Instagram, like on my IGTV, but then I was like, Gelly, you got a YouTube channel, just put it on YouTube. And I was like, okay sis, okay. So here I am <laughs> with my mini, I don't know if I can call it a sticker haul because I didn't just get stickers, I got stationery as well, but not like a lot. So I think that's why I'm going to call it a sticker haul instead of a stationery haul because I really didn't get that much conventional stationery so yeah to start off first i think i'm going to start with the non sticker part of my haul like yeah i'm gonna start with things that aren't stickers and take it from there so the first thing that i got not really the first thing that i got but like the first thing that i have to show you are these monami plus pen 3000 i think that's the official name but they're basically felt tip pens and these are like honestly the best the best that there is like i got the 48 pack i really thought they were gonna like send it to me in like a big cotton box thing but they just sent me like 225s but i need 224s but anywho um they came in two colors i don't know if i could call them palettes or schemes but like they sent me like 24 cool colors and 24 warm colors and these pens are, are honestly to die for like i really don't know what i've been doing with my life without these pens in it like what have i been doing what was the point what was i doing huh what, why didn't i have these pens but anywho um i got by the way all the things that i'm going to show you guys here i got off taobao so if I manage to link the things, I'll leave them in the. If I manage to link the things, I'll leave them. I'll leave them in the description box down below. So, if you don't see it there, it means I couldn't find it and I couldn't link it. So, yeah. The next thing that I got was this um, alphabet stamp set, and honestly, I've been subawelling after this thing. For the longest time i really don't know why i didn't just look on taobao because taobao literally has everything but yeah i've been subawailing after this sticker set for the longest time and i finally found it like i finally i finally found them and best best buy ever i mean i think i'm going to be saying best buy ever for everything that i have here because it honestly is the best buy ever but yeah they come in like the first row is lowercase letters the second is like you know uppercase capital letters and then the last is numbers and oh, the stamp set is is beautiful like i don't think you'll understand how phenomenal the stamp set is like it's beautiful guys i use these in my current bullet journal spread so if you want to see how that looks or how the stickers look after you've like you know stamped them out just go check out my instagram page i will leave it in the description box and i will also pop it up somewhere in this white space here so yeah to go with the stamp set because you don't just stamp you know just from just 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 in shape you need ink pads so i got this 24 set of 24 were they 24 or 25 Honestly, I can't remember, but I got this 24... Was it 24 15? No, I don't know how many they were, but just know I got ink pads. Um, I also got this... I don't want to call it Pyrex because I'm not sure if it's Pyrex, but I also got this um, little stationery drawer for me to put the ink pads in, but because... I, I don't know how to guesstimate the sizes of things when I saw them online I really thought all my ink pads were gonna fit but I only managed to squeeze in like six of them so I need to get like another two more but this was the other thing that I got as well the best the absolute best cute stationery drawers are like a must for me like I have I'll show you but my desk is currently 
just nyongoro right now so nah but i got this for my ink pad and yeah i need to get two more of these but anywho i got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen 16. I got 16. Yay! I got 16 of these ink pads and they came in like a ray, an array of different colors. Like, they just have a lot of different colors. So, this is really exciting because it means I'm not just limited to black. I have a lot of color options if I want to, you know, splurge with my colors. Next, I got this wooden month calendar stamp. I s where did I see this from? I saw this on someone's Instagram and I was like, I want it. I need it. So I got it. The only thing I don't like about this stamp is that the thingy, the week starts on Monday. And I don't start my week on a Monday. I start my week on a Sunday and it's kind of frustrating because I kind of have to work my way around that. But I like that they have a lot more boxes than you know you'd have if you drew out the month by yourself so it kind of gives me room to work around the starting dates but other than that I, I love it it's like a time save it honestly saves me so much time in like drawing out you know the month things i haven't used these in any of my well i did but it was like a trial run so I know what to do the next time. Oh, as you can see, I've already used it. I used it in my habit track, I think, this month. But I didn't like the way it turned out because my ink pads aren't big enough for this. So I need to figure out a way to like stamp everything one time. But yeah, I loved these. I'm just yeah, calendaring a date, like the date, guys. The date is the only thing. But other than that, <laughs> is the best. Now moving on to the stars of the show. The whole reason why I'm here doing this video, my stickers. So I started using stickers, I think sometime last year, like I think early last year. What was my theme even last year? I can't remember, but like I think I started using stickers early last year. I'm not really sure. I'll look up on my Instagram to see when exactly I started using Ama stickers. I think it was early last year because my first spread is my March thingy and I use stickers and yeah early last year that's when I started using stickers and I haven't looked back since when I first started off I was using washi tape and like doodling things in which I think was fine because I was just starting out but like you know I've, I've advanced now I'm at, I'm at an intermediate level <laughs> and I don't really have the time to be drawing out each and every single little doodle that i want in my journal because honestly i can't draw that i, I can but like i can't draw that well and i just don't have the time so yeah i decided to venture into stickers so i got i think five different different <laughs> i got five different sticker themes and yeah here to go so my first ones that I got were these husky stickers. I'm not going to open them because like if I open them and like spread them out, it's really going to take a long time and I'm not trying to make this video that long. So I got these husky stickers. Um, they have, they're like mostly cartoon versions of like the dog and yeah, I think I prefer them that way because I mean, it's cute, but it's not that cute. So these are the first stickers that I got. My second um, set of stickers is these ones, the Simpsons. My only issue with these stickers is that they basically repeat themselves. Like what you see here is what you'll see here is what you'll see here. And now I'm like, why did I even bother buying two of them? I bought two and they sent me an extra on free because I like Mbazilas. Anyway, so now I'm like, why did I even bother buying a second one? Because, you know, what's the point? But these ones are my favorites. I think the colors are more vivid on this one. Although these 
would be more seamless after you stick them onto your journal because they're kind of translucent but my favorites are these ones you're gonna see all these stickers in my themes at one point or another like I have like a whole bunch of other stickers that I got a long, a long time ago so you're gonna see all these stickers in my journal at one point or another so yeah the Simpsons and then my third set was Tom and Jerry <sighs> these stickers told me that it's a Saturday and I need to go sit in front not that Saturday Saturday I go to church the stickers told me that it's a Sunday and I need to go sit in front of the TV with my bowl of porridge and watch Tom and Jerry. This is what the stickers told me. Like, this was like a wave of nostalgia and I love, 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 love them. I'm actually thinking if I should do these for my September or... I'm still trying to decide what my September theme should be. So if you guys have any suggestions, just leave them in... Just leave them in the comments down below and I'll see. Or I'll just do like a poll on Instagram and see what people think. If I don't go with your guys' poll, it means I decided what I want and I'll just use the poll results for my next month. So yeah, I got these Tom and Jerry stickers. I'll try put the prices of like all the stickers that I talked about somewhere up here. If I don't, it means I couldn't find it and yeah. My next set of stickers were these um, Melanin Bunch. It's not really a melanin bunch because like there's a whole other you know they're like there's like a lot of these melanin type stickers in here and i don't really know why i got these like i don't have a reason i i honestly don't have a reason i saw them and i liked them and i thought they were cute and yeah i went for it and i got them sometimes i just buy stickers for the sake of buying stickers because i like stickers <laughs> I really like stickers. I think this is the other reason why I don't think I would handle going digital. Like, I really love buying stickers and like putting the stickers in and just stickers are life. Mm. My favorite stickers from the bunch, besides the the husky ones, are these ones. These are like chubbified versions of like famous paintings, and Fat Mona Lisa is my absolute favorite. Like I've, I've been in love with Fat Mona Lisa ever since my boyfriend went somewhere and he found like a, a portrait of Fat Mona Lisa and I've been like, I need Fat Mona Lisa in my life. And then when I saw these as stickers, I was like, is this you God? God, is this you? You found me Fat Mona Lisa? And yeah, I knew I had to get them. I, I knew I had to get them immediately. Immediately I knew that these stickers were meant to be in my life so i got them um it's not just mona lisa there's like a bunch of other paintings underneath here and they're all chubbified like even the food is like chubbified i don't know who did this but whoever it is is genius because these are like the cutest thing ever and then for my last two i got spongebob i got spongebob stickers because i really like having like my like my favorite tv shows as themes for my journal like things that i really like i like having them as themes in my journal so i was like you know what i need i need to do spongebob because spongebob deserves deserves you know to be in my journal i deserve to have spongebob in my journal so i got spongebob stickers and then last and then last but not least, I got these houseplant stickers. I actually got these after I saw some girl's Instagram and she had the cutest, like her theme was like so cute and I wanted to, you know, recreate or be like lightly inspired by it. But, oh, it was the cutest thing ever. I'll try, I don't know if I can link her thing. Like, is that allowed? Can I link someone else's Instagram in my YouTube? I don't know, but like, her theme was so cute and i was like i want to do it myself it was um you see those metal grid things that like you hang up on your wall and then you like peg pictures onto them and like some people put like a string of fairy lights and they just look cute her theme was that and then she had like house plants as part of that and it worked don't ask me how but it worked and it looked beautiful and i was like i want 
to do that so i went and i looked for house plant stickers and i found them and i was like i'm gonna do it i don't know when i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna do it so yeah my only other problem with these is that 70 percent of the stickers are cacti and i really thought i was gonna get like a range of different house plants i mean i did but i don't get why 70 percent of the stickers have to be cacti like what's the reason what was the reason what was it but other than that these are like really cute they're not realistic i think these are the ones i'm gonna open they're not like realistic plants they're like like you know like cartoonized is that a word cartoonized they're like doodle not doodle but like they're just they're not realistic they're like hand-drawn versions of plants and i think i like it better that way instead of having like realistic looking plants because mm, that's just see it's just a whole bunch of cacti after wait after which one after these it's just cacti after that it's just like cacti and i don't have anything against cacti but i, I wanted a variety a variety of plants besides cacti but yeah these are the last of my mini oh yeah these were the last of my mini sticker haul i really tried to rein myself in like i had like five others in my cart that i wanted to get but i was like no 90 no no and i listened to myself which i'm very proud of <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video um i really wish i had like time to like open all of them but it, it would have just made this video really long and i didn't want it to be that long so yeah if you guys have any suggestions on which of the stickers i should use for my theme next month just tell me in the comments and i'll take it into consideration if i didn't it doesn't mean i'm not gonna do it i just won't do it next month but yeah um, that's all that I have for you guys today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!